All right, guys, this is Mithril back with another Borderlands 3 item guide video. And today I am here on Gehenna at the Blood Sun Canyon. So I just spawned here at the presentation room right here. And you just have to make your way all the way to right here to where. Uh, what's his name? Dixon Goyle or Dickon, not Dixon, Dickon Goyle. There he is. Or Deacon. All right, it looks like he did not drop the item we were looking for, so I will cut and come back to when he does. Could that be it? Can I even get up there? Can I even get that? I don't know if I'll be able to get that. Uh, I may have a problem here. Hold on. Oh, right there. That's how you get up there. And yes, he did drop what we were looking for, that being the gargoyle. I think I have a gargoyle already. Yes, I do. Right here, so I'm going to put mine on. So yes, it's a COV pistol. As you guys can see, it's got a alien barrel. It's got its mandibles. It's very, very green. But other than that, not really too much about it. So it's red text is Defender of the Night. Now, I believe the reference is to that old cartoon, which I believe is just called Gargoyles or something. And during the day, you know, they turn into statues. And then during the night, they, you know, come alive and whatnot. But uh, anyways, the unique ability of the Gargoyle is it shoots sticky darts that deal corrosive splash damage on impact. And then these sticky darts explode one second after impact and deal corrosive splash damage. And then they can randomly shoot orbs in a arcing trajectory that explodes on impact and deals corrosive splash damage. So a lot, and I mean a lot of corrosive damage. Mine's got a good anoint on it. And yeah, as you guys can see, you're going to be causing a lot, and I mean a lot of splash damage and a lot of corrosive damage at that. So let us go and check this weapon out on some bad guys. Okay, so I'm here at Carnivora. Now, what is mine? Times one, so let's put on the Infernal Wish, a Blastmaster, and then, of course, the Pearl, because I don't have a Malawan Company Man. Let's see how it does. Pretty sure I remember how it does. And yeah, it does very, very good. I'm pretty sure I also remember giving it to Zane back when I was playing console. And uh, I would give it to a clone and then just me and the clone would destroy with this weapon. But yeah, as you guys can see, it just wrecks face. So I am still going to go to General Tront, even though he is resistant to corrosive, because I believe it's still going to kill him pretty easily. But if not, I'll go to somebody else as well. So let us go and, uh, you know, try it out now on a boss. Okay, so now I'm here on a Necro Defeo in front of General Tront's arena. Let me just fire once, just in case I get that amp damage from the toboggan. Alright, let's see how we do. So remember, he's somewhat resistant to corrosive damage, as you guys can see. But even then, as you guys can see, when I'm hitting, at least, we're still doing such good damage. And yeah, I mean, just look at that. This weapon is really, really good. So 
so yeah, there you go, guys. That was basically today's video review on the Gargoyle. Very, very good COV weapon. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe because we'll put my channel. And I will appreciate it like always. And then let me know, did I use this weapon correctly? If I did, good. If I didn't, make sure to let me know. And then I will make sure to do a part two on it. But for now, all I really can say is, I hope to see you guys next time.